four nights, four games, and your Hokies are the 2022 men's basketball ACC champions. Welcome back to DMV Sports Zone. Chased down by Beal in the corner for three, gets oh, fouled wow. and hits. Welcome to DC. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel. Welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And then today, guys, I'm coming at you with my reaction to the Hokies winning the ACC Championship. Before I get into this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, more DMV Sports content. And let's get straight to the video. It is 3.11 a.m. in the morning. I am making this and I, I would play Enter Sandman right now, but I don't want to get a copyright on this video. Speechless, to say the least. Two and seven at one point of the season. And ACC champs? It's crazy because at the beginning of the year, I went to the Wake Forest game where they got blown out by 20. And, you know, coming into my freshman year, I always thought that Virginia Tech was a football school. Basketball program really isn't nothing. Really isn't anything to watch. And, wow. It was our first time entering the finals for the ACC men's basketball tournament, and we win it. Mike Young, who is now 6-0 and as a head coach in conference championships. Wow. I'm really speechless right now. I guess we can just talk about the game. Hunter Couture. <laughs> who is this guy? No, but in all seriousness, I mean, looking at his stats... 31 points, four assists, four rebounds, shot seven and nine from three point land, 11 of 16 from field goal range. You just can't, you can't make that up. And he wasn't playing, like, he wasn't playing out of his mind the games before. He probably had, didn't score more than 12 points. And now 31 this game? I and mean, he is. And I think he was labeled as the MVP for the tournament. Took the net down. That was really good to see. I mean, Hunter is a junior. I'm pretty sure just insane. Insane. Justin Mutz, 19 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. Was great on the defense side of the ball. I just... And another big thing is we look like... And the, the announcers were saying this as well. We just looked like we wanted it more. We were playing at a better pace. And seeing Storm Murphy, Sean Padula, these guys just controlling tempo of the game duke was playing we were they just didn't know what they were doing they were missing free throws they just weren't diving for loose balls i saw at one point maddox darius maddox he was diving on the floor it's it's, it's just everyone played as a team and i'm so happy we're officially dancing we're going to be at the tournament today is selection sunday so i don't know what seed we're going to get hopefully a pretty high seed because we just took down the number one team in the nation we spoiled Coach K's last conference game as a head coach, and it couldn't have been done any better. This team really just showed that no matter how hard your backs are against the wall, you can always find a way to turn it around, and they did. Sean talked about this, and I think it was the press conference with the game after we beat North Carolina. This team just plays together. They're having fun out there which is sometimes, I guess, in college basketball, really important. Because at the end of the day, there's still college kids. And when you're having fun and playing great, it's the best of both worlds. And you never know what could happen. And we saw what could happen. And we took down the Duke Blue Devils. Honestly, the first half, we were just leading by three points. I was surprised we were leading. And the second half, we really kicked it up a notch when Hunter just started catching fire. <clears throat> and like I said before, the Blue Devils, they... They were missing free throws. I mean, if I look at it right now, 15 of 23 from the free throw line. And that's huge. That's eight points and lost by 15. That could have been seven points. It's just there are a lot of things that accumulate in, in the game. And it was nice to see us win. And now it's we're dancing, going into March Madness. It's going to be interesting to see where we match up. I really think we can make some noise. 
But again, it's just ha I'm happy. Everyone in Blacksburg, Hokie Nation, I'm pretty sure everyone in America is happy to see the Duke Blue Devils lose. And for the Hokies, can't ask for anything more. I also want to talk about, aside from the Hokies, because, you know, we got to celebrate. My friend made me this. Check it out, guys. DMV Sports Zone bracelet. I don't know if you guys can read that. It's really in shambles right now. Shout out to her. She was really cool at making this. So I need to bring this up because, you know, we're up in the Hokies. Why not? Can't. I just can't put into words how like how much emotion I'm holding in right now. I don't want to scream because everyone is sleeping in my household and my parents will probably get mad at me. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The Wizards, they ruined, they didn't really ruin my night because even though they lost to the Trailblazers who was who were playing a G League roster, they didn't have Anthony Simon, Anthony Simons, didn't have Damian Lillard. Josh Hart dropped a career high 44. They didn't manage to lose or they didn't manage to ruin my night because you want to know why? The Hokies are ACC champions. With that being said, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content. Follow us on all social media, DMV Sports Zone, with our TikTok page, Instagram, and Twitter. Gokies!